There's so much to talk about. Let's get right into it. Um, according, did you see this? According to a recent article, President Trump's lawyers want him to skip an interview with the head of the Russia investigation because they're afraid that he'll lie under oath. <laughs> Here's my question. Why wouldn't his lawyers just tell him to plead insanity? <laughs> Every single person in the world would be like, yep. <laughs> He's nuts. Uh, Here's the thing, if his lawyers really wanted him not to do it, then just tell him to do it. Trump's like a child. <laughs> if, you tell him to, if you tell him not to do something, it only makes him want to do it more, you know? <laughs> they said, Donald, don't you touch that interview. Donald, no. <laughs> Donald! Uh, if Trump refuses the interview, Mueller could subpoena him to testify before a grand jury, uh, which would be OK with Trump, provided it was the grandest jury, the most <laughs> luxurious <laughs> jury of all of the juries. Uh, in other White House news, after President Trump called Democrats un-American for not applauding him during the State of the Union speech, Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth tweeted at Trump about using his alleged bone spurs to get out of Vietnam. She tweeted, she said, I, I swore an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States, not to mindlessly cater to the whims of cadet bone spurs. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, it's crazy. So now... <laughs> Which means now Trump is suffering from bone spurs and third-degree burns. <laughs> now... I know Trump started it, but is this where this country is right now? Politicians are just calling each other names? <laughs> like, pretty soon, pundits are going to be on cable news saying, I thought the president made a good point when he said, I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> uh, but Duck... <laughs> it's not far away. But Duck was right. It's ridiculous that Trump called Democrats un-American for not clapping. I don't think that's un-American. I should know. I actually am an un-American. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fun. Moving on, uh, it was reported today that the country's biggest electronic store, Best Buy, will stop selling CDs as of July 1st. I know, I know. Now where will people go to not pay for music? It's... <laughs> it does make me nostalgic, though. I loved CDs, like... The thrill of digging through the crates, you know, the excitement of going home to listen to it, the seven hours it took to get it open. <laughs> so, no CDs start in July 1st. So, mark your calendars, kids. In five months, you're finally going to have to explain Spotify to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's all there, Dad. It's all of the music. <laughs> uh, some huge science news, just science news, just this afternoon, Elon Musk's uh, company... Yes. I couldn't say that then. Did you hear I said Musk? <laughs> Elon Musk's... Uh, Elon... <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to say Elon Musk, but it's harder to say Elon Musk's. Yeah. Yeah. Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, <laughs> It's pretty amazing. They successfully launched the world's most powerful rocket yes. into space, headed towards Mars. Um, <laughs> it really is amazing. The rocket... The rocket's named Falcon Heavy, although it prefers to be called Falcon Hey, I'm just big boned. <laughs> um, here's Musk's diagram of the rocket. There it is there. Oh. Are we allowed to show that on TV? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't have to be blurred. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is true. For some reason, the rocket was carrying Elon Musk's cherry red Tesla sports car, which is playing David Bowie's Space Oddity on repeat. I promise you that's true. <laughs> that's when you know you've made it at life, isn't it? <laughs> That's, that's when you know it's done. You can nudge people and go, that's my car. <laughs> now, uh, this is completely real. We have. This is from the live feed uh, on the car as it orbits the Earth right now. That's completely real. 
Now that's so cool, but how are they transmitting that so clearly? I can't even get Wi-Fi in the hallway between here and my office. <laughs> That's in space. Now, we think that that's a dummy sitting in the driver's seat. Either that or a very underpaid intern. <laughs> <laughs> um, and finally, this was even more ingenious. A Girl Scout in San Diego sold 300 boxes of Girl Scout cookies in six hours after she set up shop in front of a weed dispenser. <laughs> Genius. Even Elon Musk's like, that's pretty impressive. That, that's where we are these days. You can buy weed in a store and cookies on the street corner. <laughs> 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 